Hello, this is Anna. Welcome to Quick Healthy Italian. Now today we're going to cook a wonderful uh, pesce affogato. What does that mean? Well, in Italian, pesce affogato means a drowning fish. So you're probably thinking, well, how can that be? How can a fish be drowning? <laughs> well, this particular fish is a salmon, and he's going to be drowning in all of the wonderful flavors of fresh herbs and vegetables and wine, and uh, it's going to be an incredible array of all of the earthly abundance that the fish never experienced before. So stay tuned with me and I want you to see how I put this together. I think you're going to love this one. Okay, so we're ready to get started. I'm going to put a little extra virgin olive oil in my pan. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, this is two tablespoons of salted butter. I'm just going to get that all mixed in together. Got a medium high flame. And here I have some freshly um, cut asparagus. I'm going to put that into the pan. And I want to put those first because asparagus are a little, um, take a little bit longer to cook than other vegetables. So I'm just going to get those going. Uh, next, I'm going to add some, I have some. Carrots that I Julian cut, which is it's just a fancy name for cutting them in little thin strips, and then I cut the strips into little pieces. So we're going to add those in. Next, I have some chopped onion. This is one large onion. Hmm. I always love that when the onion hits the pan and the olive oil and the onions kind of mm, exude that wonderful, wonderful scent. It's so lovely. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt. <clears throat> love my Mediterranean sea salt. A bit of that. Okay, and I'm just going to let these cook for about two minutes and then I'll add the rest of my vegetables. Okay, we're back. My vegetables are cooking down. Now I'm gonna add, right here I have 10 ounces of cremini mushrooms and 10 ounces of white mushrooms. I'm gonna add all that wonderfulness into my pot or into my pan. All these wonderful flavors are gonna marry together. cook for another couple of minutes. Okay, to this now I'm going to add a nice abundant um, pitch of pepper. Add a little bit of salt. And I have some black olives here. These are chopped black olives. It's about three and a half ounces. And mix those in. As you can see, everything's starting to come together. Ecco qua il mio salmone. Here is my salmon. I'm going to give it a little bit of salt. A little salt bath. And I have a pan now that I uh, have put extra virgin olive oil in. And I'm going to transfer all of my fish into the pan. Mm -mm -mm. So here we go. We have the heat on medium. And I'm just going to cook the salmon on both sides. So I have cooked my salmon on both sides. I'm going to add it to my little platter. Okay, so my salmon now is plattered and I'm going to add a little bit of salt. 
and lemon juice to this. I have one lemon cut up into wedges. Just give it a nice abundance of lemon juice. And use your fingers, you know. That's the best tool you have. It's right at the end of your arms. Don't forget it. Okay, my pasta water is boiling, at which point I'm going to salt it generously. And you always want to put salt after it starts boiling, because if you want the boiling process to go faster, for some reason you have to put the salt later. If you put the salt earlier, it takes twice as long. I don't know why, but it's just, it is what it is. Okay, so that's ready. And I'm going to drop my spaghetti into my pot of boiling water. It's a full package of spaghetti. Okay, and to this now, I put half the mixture of my vegetables back into the pot and the other I have reserved on the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, right here I have some chicken broth. You could use vegetable broth, you could use fish stock, whatever you like. But I had some of this broth on hand, so I'm just going to add this to my sauce, to my vegetables. Now a very important trick is when you are adding stock or you're adding anything to an existing stock, uh, sauce, you want to make sure that they're of the same temperature. So this, these vegetables are warm, so I want to add warm stock. Otherwise, if my vegetables are warm and I add cold stock, then it's going to bring the temperature down, and then it's going to, by the time it, I bring the temperature back up to where it was before, my vegetables are going to be overcooked, and you don't want that. So I've been adding uh, my chicken stock and trying to get it to the, you know, the consistency that I want because this is going to be a pasta dish. So now I have my little potato masher and I'm just going in here and I'm just kind of mashing the half of the vegetables that I put into this pan with the stock and all the other juices because I do want some chunkiness but I don't want it to be so overwhelming that the salmon isn't the star of this dish. So I'm going to continue mashing like this and then I'm going to show you how to put it all together. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more chicken stock. So I want to show you the consistency that we want, the brothiness. It's almost a quarter stock that I used. If you want to take a look in here, Okay, this is where we're at. And then I'm going to add about a cup of white wine and uh, about half a cup of tomato puree. Turn up the heat and let that all melt in. So my little sauce has been cooking for about eight minutes and everything has come together so nicely, as you can see. Now I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to add my spaghetti, which are completely cooked. And I'm going to toss them in this wonderful sauce. And as I do that, I'm going to add my beautiful salmon that we cooked earlier. Oh, and it's going to drown in all these wonderful, earthy, incredible flavors. So I'm going to toss it all together. Just like that. I'm going to get on just a, for one more minute because my pasta is just cooked a little bit under al dente. 
and then I'm going to sprinkle my herbs on top and I have fresh basil and fresh, fresh parsley and I even have some fresh celery leaves on top which are wonderful. Don't ever throw those away. Mmm. Okay. That is ready to plate. So you remember those vegetables we set this to the side? Well, here they are. And we're going to put them here as the bed of our beautiful dish. And then on top of that, we are going to add everybody else. All those flavors, just like that. And I'm going to show you how that looks. You see that? You don't want to miss anything from this pan. Mm. So there you have that. And to finish this dish, we're going to finish it with who else? Oh, Senor Parmigiano Reggiano. Now I like a little Parmigiano Reggiano on top of this. Now some Italians would frown on that and say, Oh, you can put Parmigiano Reggiano. You can't put any cheese on fish. Oh, that's a no no. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, you know what? I like it. You know, they say, well, the fish has to be the star. And if you add parmigiano, then the fish is not the star anymore. Parmigiano is the star. It takes over, you know, because its flavor is stronger and, and uh, the fish's flavor is more mild. And that's not right. Well, I think you get to decide who's going to be the star and who's going to be the leading lady. And I say, when I put parmigiano, ah, let the parmigiano be the star. Who cares? I think they're co-stars, actually, in my opinion, because they're both wonderful, and they both deserve to be credited for being so wonderful. So here you are. There it is. Pesce affogato. Ciao.